everybody, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jamie B. Thanks for stopping by. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a Auntie haul and I'm excited because I haven't done an Auntie haul I feel like in a couple of months maybe. Maybe it was sooner than that, who knows? But if you guys are wondering or excited on the things that I am not buying in the beauty community, then go ahead and keep watching. All right guys, so if you're not new to my channel, what I do is I pull up Trend Mood's Instagram page. She is like the number one Instagram account to have all of the new stuff that's coming out. Anything beauty you can think of from hair to clothes to influencer launches, like everything. So if you guys aren't following her, make sure you do so. It's Trend Mood 1 on Instagram. I go to her page store in my auntie hauls and I basically scroll through and I tell you guys what I'm not buying and why I'm not buying it. Today, I might pop in a few things that I am going to buy. Buy, just because I think that you know a little positivity mixes it up a little bit so let's take a look so it looks like Sigma brushes is coming out with a new brush collection it looks like they're coming out with an airbrush kabuki a skin perfector tapered cheek HD bronze yeah so it's just those four they look really nice but I just honestly would prefer to get Morphe brushes because they are very inexpensive. I know that some people do not like Morphe. I know that like all the drama and scandals and I just, I keep that off my channel. But as a product, I do really genuinely like their brushes. Yes, do I have some of them that I have used and I've disliked and not bought anymore? Yes because some of them, the older ones, do have a tendency to have hairs fall out and just get messy. But honestly, for the six to $10 you're paying for it versus how much are these? Like 40, I'm sure. No, 31, 28, 22, and 26. I just don't, expensive brushes, it's one of the things that was in my like, not gonna buy any more thing, and that is one of them, so. So the next thing that I will not be buying is the new Urban Decay Naked Wild West palette. Honestly, I haven't bought an Urban Decay palette in a very long time. I just recently bought their foundation to give it a try because I haven't bought anything from their company in forever. And for me, it was a flop. I will put that video right up here for you guys to check out. But it honestly just, it didn't work out. So I just don't think that I'm going to be testing the waters with another palette. And I also just, I do like the colors. I won't lie. I like a few of the colors, but hear me out. It looks like the palette that was the beached theme that I just did like a throwback um, eyeshadow video with. It looks like those same blue and brown red colors with a couple of cool tone shades. It's very, I don't know. It's just not something I'm into, but the packaging I think is very cute. And I do love like this like turquoise green that's up in here, but. I'm gonna pass. So Marc Jacobs came out with the Cafe collection. It came with a like bronzer, highlighter, blush duo, and then new caffeine concealer and foundations. So I am getting the concealer and foundation. I think it's very intriguing to me that it would be a concealer and foundation. Like, is it thick? Is it lightweight? What are we talking? I don't know, so I'm excited. I am gonna be ordering that from Sephora. However, I am not going to be getting the face palette. Um, I find that a lot of the times their bronzers are not, they're not very dark. I know that a lot of people love them, they're really good, but I got the one which I think is Tantalize. I don't know, it's Tan something. It was the Omega bronzer and it just did not, you could barely see it on my skin tone. So I will not be purchasing that, but I will be purchasing the concealer. So stay tuned for that. I think that 2021 is like the year of foundations. Like I know I just said that in a video, but I'm like for real, everyone is coming out with a new foundation and I'm like, yes. So the next thing that's on here is the Jaclyn Cosmetics mystery boxes she did for Valentine's Day. I am buying that. I did buy that. It should be here soon. I should have a video up. I have been avoiding like the plague, anything Jaclyn Hill like video related. I don't follow her on, I'm, I'm not subscribed to her on YouTube or anything like that. So I don't have to worry about a lot of that popping up, but I don't want to see what it is just because I want to come up with like my own opinion on it and my own thoughts on it. I know that there's a lot, again, drama, negativity around the whole thing, but I just want to review the makeup. If you guys are new to my channel, this is a channel that has no drama. I'm not a drama channel. I don't want to talk about the scandals. If something happens or somebody or a company or a brand does something that I feel is like extremely immoral or what have you, 
I'm not going to talk about them. I'm not going to bash them. It's just a lot of negativity that I don't want to consume. I just simply won't bring them onto my channel. I won't bring those products onto my channel. So I'm not going to get a product to sit here and bash somebody. So if that's something that you're looking for, then that is not, that's not what I do here. I just don't find that I need to consume that much negativity in my life. If I don't like something or I don't like the creator or the brand, I just don't, I just don't bring it on my channel. That's it. That's it. So I'm excited for this. I saw some of the sneak peeks, so I am excited for that, but I, I just want to give it my like personal, personal opinion. So the next thing I'm not buying is the KKW matte collections. It's like a honey matte and what's the next one called? Matte mauve and matte honey? I think so. So I love mauves. I love them but I just I really do have a ton and honestly I like shimmer. I like my palettes to be equal. I know people love mattes to death but like I want like half matte half shimmer. Do not give me all mattes because I don't want it. I don't use it. I'm not going to do a whole look in mattes unless it's like a no makeup makeup look. I do think that they're pretty. I'm just not here for it. I'm not. And I have their li her lipsticks. I did the like the little um top pinks and top nudes and top uh, reds. And they were okay. I just don't reach for them. So I'm not going to go out of my way to buy more of her lipsticks. So the next thing is a new lip product called Lady Balls Lipstick by Too Faced. I think that it's supposed to be... An empowering pigment with lightweight I think it's supposed to be like you know uplifting women and strength it just I don't like the name of it I'm not gonna lie to you guys and it's just a red lipstick I think yeah it's just a red and a nude oh they're coming out with four shades so a red which is called lady balls the pink one which is called work wife and then another red one which is indoorsies and then I can't see the other one what it's called but it just they're just, I don't know. I'm over Too Faced, honestly. I just, I don't know. I haven't bought anything from them in so long that I just think that I would feel so awkward to do so. I bought something from Urban Decay and I haven't bought from a long time from Urban Decay and I was let down. So I think I'm just gonna stick to like not venturing outside. The next thing is the Lunar Beauty Lashes. I am gonna buy them. I did buy them. They are also on their way. So I'm excited about that. I can't wait till they get here and I can open them and try them because I do love Manny's brand. I do love almost everything that he's put out. I don't have two of the palette, but honestly, everything I've ever bought is amazing. So I'm really excited to try those. Jackie Ina is coming out or came out with new candles. Those are on my auntie haul because I don't... I'm so weird about candles and tell me if you guys are the same candles and perfume I'm so like I need to smell them I need to be able to like make sure it's something that I enjoy because I have such a fear that like if I buy something that has a scent and I don't like it then I'm kind of screwed with it do you know what I mean so it's like they're so cute like I will show you they're so stinking cute but I just can't bring myself like what if I don't like it so if you guys have any of her candles please comment down below because I would love to buy them because they're so stunning but I'm just such a weirdo when it comes to my candles like anything with scent I have to be able to physically smell it before I buy it so that is on my anti haul list but only because I cannot physically smell it so it looks like over cosmetics is coming out with a ride or die collection I honestly believe it or not still to this day have only tried like two Ofra products so I'm just not comfortable I guess going out of my comfort zone buying from this company I've seen good I've seen bad things about them so I'm just kind of like eh, I don't know so this is maybe on my maybe haul like maybe let me know down below if you have stuff from them what you like from Ofra because like I just I think I had like a highlighter and maybe a lipstick I don't know that I even had a highlighter, honestly. I think it was like one lipstick and I got it in a boxy charm. I don't know, but I have not really bought anything from that company. So I'm just kind of like, ooh, I don't know. These stinking hearts from ColourPop are gonna be the death of me because I have not bought anything from ColourPop in like forever. And these came up and they are so cute. Like I want to buy them, but think they're out of stock still like they're just so 
stinking adorable. Come on. Beauty Blender. Ooh. So new addition to the Bounce Complexion line. It is a soft focus gemstone setting powder. No thanks. Um, <laughs> and I only say that because I didn't, I did not mind the foundation. I did not mind the foundation. It was okay. It was decent. There was a lot of issues I know with the shade range. However, I bought it. I tried it. I liked it. <laughs> hmm. I went to use it, like I want to say a month, a month after I bought it and the pumper stopped working. The pumper stopped working. And you know what happens when the pumper stops working? Nothing. You can't open it. It doesn't open. I fought to get it open, winded up getting it open and busted the freaking lid. So I just, from that point was like, the only thing I'm buying from Beauty Blender is their blenders. Like I have sworn them off unless they come out with something so fantastic that I can't stop myself from buying it. Other than that, no thanks. No thanks. <laughs> Them and BH Cosmetics, because BH Cosmetics really messed up my order one time. And that was like two years ago, maybe a year and a half. And I haven't bought from them and I won't. Like I see their stuff at all time. I'm like, oh, that's so cute. But then I'm like, nope, I remember what they did to me. I remember, I remember. So there is a palette here. It is from Dominique Cosmetics. It's the transition palette. And at first when I saw it, I was like, no, that's gone on my auntie haul. I don't have no time. All mattes all nudes, why would you even come up with this palette, right? Like you first see this and you're just like, okay, but like why in 2021 would that be a palette that you come out with? I did a little more research on it. And let me tell you what, not only is this just a nude eyeshadow palette, like whatever, cool, let's get past that. Let's get past the boring. You can use this for blush, for bronzer, for contouring. Like I saw a whole TikTok transition or reels on Instagram of different things that people use this palette for. And I'm over here like, okay, I might have to buy it. I might have to buy it. So if you guys have it, you have to let me know if I should buy it. Like, is that something I should be buying? So like, if you guys have it, do you use it for other anything other than your eyes? Like, I feel like the idea of it is like, yeah, like that's so innovative, like how cute, I could just take one palette. But then it's like, will I really actually use it for more than just my eyes? I don't know. Pat McGrath added some new things. But I'm poor, so she's on the do not buy. So P. Louise came out with these eyeshadow palettes. Um, it's called Date Night, I think. It's like they're three little mini cassette palettes. And I think the idea is cute. But in all honesty, like, I just also think it's cheesy. I'm not going to lie to you. And I don't mean any hate or any shade. I just think it's a very tacky palette. <laughs> I know that sounds really mean and I'm not trying to be mean I'm not a mean person like honestly I'm just I don't like it I don't like the colors I think they're very bland um I do love her base like that is my schnit but this is just like mm, I could pass um more tattoo liner by K by uh KVD Beauty uh I'm gonna pass and then there is the next matte collection which is black cherry I'm gonna pass I haven't been interested in anything mac related in quite a long time um so that's gonna be a no um dragon beauty another palette I'm just not interested in I think it's a cute idea but I just feel like that's more of a collector piece so like if you're a really big fan of Nikita Dragon that's definitely something that you want to have just because it is very cute it is very collector I just don't think with myself that it's very realistic although I love pink I just literally do not do pink looks but maybe like once in a while like I just you know I'm kicking myself in the butt right now because I just did a pink look for Valentine's Day that I'll link right here but that's like about it <laughs> I don't I just don't do and it's just like pink and white and black so no I am intrigued to try her lip items but I still just haven't she's one of those brands where it's like oh that's cute but then I forget and I just don't buy it so then the next thing and I believe the last thing on my list is the ColourPop Wild Child it's not as new it actually came out mid-January and it looks like this I'm gonna say no and I also think it's quite strange that it <laughs> kind of reminds me of Kylie's I think it was her birthday collection I don't remember I honestly Honestly, I don't remember but it was more like that kind of like brownish cheatish I don't know if you guys know what collection it was 
comment down below but I know it was some kind of animal print but that's what that reminds me of like 100% I'm just not here for it I'm really not the other thing the last thing that I did buy and I wanted to buy and I'm excited that I bought is the 30 years 30 years collection it launched last Thursday and I bought the t-shirt in energy that I have on today Sorry if it's messy. My kids and my baby are sometimes gross. So I got the tea and energy and I got the shorts in cool shades, but I'm pretty sure they're downstairs because I wore them downstairs when I woke up and took them off and changed my pants because that's where my dirty and clean clothes are because I've been lazy, but I got the shorts in cool shades. They are so nice. I know a lot of people had issues with the price. They were pretty pricey. They were $68 for a pair of shorts. I will say that. However, I enjoy them. I think so I'm the type of person, PSA, um, probably too much information I'm about to share with you. I don't sleep in clothes. Uh, I just don't find that it's very comfortable, but sometimes like I feel almost exposed, like my anxiety. I have issues like at nighttime thinking that like people are breaking into my house. I don't know, it's just a thing, okay? It's just a thing. So I try to wear something. So like if anything were to happen in an emergency, I have clothes on, I'm not complete. But, so I wore these shorts. I wore these shorts to bed and I have never, in my life felt more comfortable. The shirt, the shirt is kind of see-through. It doesn't look like it, hold on one second. I have a tank top underneath it, but I'm gonna show you. So I have a design bra on and it is see-through and it's not so bad. I don't think on camera, maybe it is, but in the viewfinder is not. But like in person, looking in my mirror, you can see every design of my bra. So I think it is a very nice material. But I do have those concerns where like, why is it see-through? Like the collar is pretty thick and the see the sleeves like seem thick, but it's just, I don't know. It's comfy and I like it, but I don't know, I don't know that I would buy another one of this color at least. I want to buy the black one and I want to try cool shades because <laughs> they sold out so fast. I got this in cool shades. So I have make, like mismatched pieces. But I wanna try the other colors and just see maybe if this, this bright color is the reason it's see-through. I don't know, but I wasn't gonna buy it and then I was like, yes, of course I'm gonna buy it. Like I've been watching Katie forever. I mean, I don't really watch her anymore, but I was just excited for her. She's a decent human being, at least from, you know, what I see on YouTube and whatnot, but I really liked it. It is comfy. I like the shorts the best. And I just have to wear a tank top under the shirt, which I mean, I wear a tank top under freaking everything. It's not too bad for me. So I just wanted to kind of share that with you guys and let you know. I know it's kind of expensive. Um, I saw a lot of people like really tearing her apart and I felt really bad. But at the end of the day, I did want to support her because she is somebody that I support and I have for a while. And I just, I love the shorts. They're so soft. They're so soft. Like, oh. But that is it, guys, for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the Auntie haul and kind of throwing in some of the things I am buying or have bought as like a positive twist to it maybe I'll start doing an anti haul and then add like a shopping list video I don't know let me know if that's something you want to see like things I am buying versus things I'm not buying so I hope you guys like this video if you did make sure you give it a big thumbs up make sure you are subscribed to my channel I do five beauty videos every week and one blooper video every Saturday and I'll see you guys on the next one bye